Let's go over the rewards as well as the structure of the new side quest. Next week we'll be doing the run through, run through the, via gameplay. Also, there's a lot of stuff we're going to be going over on over the weekend. The stuff that even Kabam didn't put in the live stream, they haven't put in active posts that you can see directly. So we're going to like figure out like what's going on with it. Now the side quest is called. Where's the what's the post? Oh, it's here. It's called Jack's Bountiful Hunt. Now, this starts next week. You use Infernal Summons to gain access to Jack's Bounty Full Hunt side quest. You gain Infernal Summon entries items through the login calendar. The login calendar, I would say it looks like this. It does not. This is with the process of this. So get your first gate key at quest start to login daily. Um, earn more gate keys and then you kind of like go in three entries per week. I guess it's all about how it stacks up. We're going to check out the extent of rewards that you get as well. From this particular process, you then go on to the quest. You can see that's the quest right there. Kabam, this time. I like the way they, they did this. Quest is a three path separate by class. Separated by class. Uh, so, you know, you can see there like what cosmic, uh, mystic, and uh, mutant type path. Only three champions. I can't remember. No, no. The last quest you you were only you were using five champions rather than three this time. So that I guess it's less fights. So that's probably why. That's good because it just means it's over quickly. Uh, unless there's a boss you've got to fight specifically. There'll probably be objectives where you got to use certain champions, and it's complete three times to meet the solo objective that triggers a bounty board. Of course, we'll talk about bounties in... I'm just looking at my schedule of stuff. I think we're, do, we're talking about it in tomorrow's video in more detail. Yes, yes, we are. So Saturday's PM video is talking about that. As we got a lot to talk about rework champions. Further details as well. There's a ton of things going on at one given time. Definitely writing down and finding a lot of stuff as well that Kabam are, are posting. Anyway, from the, uh, the quest standpoint... It's great because it's you know easy to do. Three infernal summons were available each week. It's a weekly thing. It rotates weekly. Let's get this better into shot. To be honest, there we go. Rotates weekly. Each quest has five difficulties with three paths with three fights each. I suppose you can only enter once. Paths contain unique rewards that do not reset, and there is a bonus reward. For full exploration. Nice. Probably Mysterium and some other stuff. Solo objectives are focused on completing that weekly quest three times. Okay. Full exploration is not required. A. Eh? Just three completions. However, full explorations will yield the most rewards. Okay. You don't have to do the exploration, but you need to get the you need to get the rewards. Oh, so I need to kind of explore it then. Complete each week's solo objectives to unlock bounty missions the first three weeks of an elite bounty in week four. Uh, we'll talk about bounties at another stage. Like the, the bounty situation from an explanation point of view is a bit difficult because it's not actually going live. And we can get a bit of an idea. Enemies for the month-long bounty hunters picnic solo event can be found in these bounty missions. Okay, that's another layer to this, bounty missions and how they factor in. Collect shards to open big game hunter crystals. I think those are just the standard six star ones. When are we going to get the Paragon ones, even Valiant ones? That's another big question uh, from this one. When are the event rewards, um, event quest rewards going to be buffed? I can't answer that, unfortunately. I wish Caban would, would, would do it. Maybe they will. Logging to earn Infernal Summons. We know that. We've seen that. That's in the images that we've uh showcase which is that one there yeah that there so go and do that and then the rewards for doing this each, oh, each full hunt contains three different paths unique enemies to face each path contains three fights and is available at a five difficulty levels each quest will be available for the remainder of event uh once it appears there is a bonus reward for exploration. We know that. So going down to the rewards, threat level five. I'm not 100% sure on how Kabam have displayed this. I assume that we're taking 1,500 from one week and there's four weeks of operation. So therefore it's 1,500, excuse me, times four is 6,000. And, but then Mysterium is a path 
excuse me, a path reward, and it's like saying, but is, it, but is that times, so that must be a times four, but it's not displayed in the exploration. I guess the exploration is you exploring that particular quest, and because it's just a path reward, it will just be on the path. And if I go back to the image that Kabam had, and then see, yeah, but then there it's very different, unless that's a lower... The way they've done it, though, it's like it's got force. It's got you can't see it particularly well, but let's see if we can zoom it in a bit better. Uh, you can see that it says three seven five seven star shards, six no, five hundred there, and then six seven five zero. Oh. So I'm gonna go with, and we have to we'll just do some sums a second just to double check because I don't want to get this wrong. Where's the quest? Let's go back to it a second there. And if we get the calculator in, right there, and we go, was it six seven five zero oh, times four twenty seven? So it is. It's a. It's. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It is. Uh, but then it's like three set. But then it's got three seven five. Because obviously three seven five times four is one thousand five hundred. But then you've got the expiration there so yeah i'm sure it all adds up but that would kind of like losing my mind over it i'm sure all of it um adds up let's move on shall we uh step three what is step three weekly solo and month-long solo events to earn additional rewards the month-long monthly hunters picnic requires you to defeat vox all those uh, use saga champions to get points. Each of these champions are available to take on in a bounty missions and elite bounty quests. Players can unlock bounty boards to enter these mount bounty missions. Bounty missions. That's um, that's uh, Canadian, isn't it? Mounties. Completing the weekly hunt to be hunted. Oh my god, it's so wordy. Why is everything? Why is everything so wordy? This objective requires you to complete that week's Jack Bounties hunt through. <laughs> You do the thing to do the thing to do the other thing by getting the thing by going to the other thing and getting the thing by doing the thing. If you've got the thing, the thing does the thing. Just use thing. Or don't, it seems. This doesn't mean full exploration, though. That will yield the most rewards. Okay, fine. Bounty boards, everybody. Bounty board one and an elite bounty board. Get your bounties. I'm still a little bit confused on, like, the bounties hunter, a uh, bounty things in general of course this plays into it the bounty hunters picnic where there's a six star awakening gem seven star titan crystal shards time 2500 2500 six star relic bounty targets crystal Pfft, whatever that is going to be about bounty a uh, big game hunter crystal shards tier two primordial dust tier four alpha catalyst 5000 has that gone up as well from 2400 i'll have to check back on a previous uh, you know, previous event, but that seems to go on, gone up a bit, not ridiculously, uh, but it feels like it's gone up. Like it might be in about four k or two thousand one hundred or something, but it's it, it looks to me like it's gone up. But I could be mistaken by that one. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for the video. I'm just gonna quickly double check with London Maximus Dudar. Copernicus about that reward bump in tier four alpha because I'm I'm quite curious is it ha is it actually gone up uh, or am I just thinking it has I can't see it in there like it it should be like pretty pretty darn obvious Mysterium tier four alpha no same it's less <laughs> it's it's less. 2850 there, 2850 there. So that's um that's into five thousand. Unless Kabam have spread it in a different area and I'm I'm going mad. Again, quick look back. Um 5k there. So 5k there. Where's the other lot then? Meh. They've probably put it into different areas then. If not, weird. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts on new side quests going in and some of the things that you've seen and heard? Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye.